In this video I'll cover uh, why the stage 3 boss sometimes dies much more quickly than it normally would. So let's just start with what normally would happen. We'd go out here and bait the boss, and then we'll use the magic on it. Like so. And you can see uh, his head reached about the timer box before he died. Now this is what normally would happen. But under some rare circumstances, something different would happen. So let's see that here. So you can see, uh, in this case, his head only reached about here. So all this travel time got cut out here. Uh, so let's see why that is. So let's go back here and enable some Lua scripts to help us visualize what's going on. So when we cast the dragon magic, these are the game's um, magic slots. Uh, there can be eight magic objects at one time. You can think of them as sprites, more or less. Um, and you can see it creates the entire dragon. All of the pieces are here already. Here, let's see. So here's the the head, and you know, and then there's seven tail pieces here. Basically, this is the entire dragon. So when we cast the dragon, we can see here as it goes. It will so part eight here. This is the head, and then piece of uh, slot seven is like the next body piece, and so on. So slot one is like the tail, the very final tail piece. And you can see as they get created, that's when they fill in the damage values. So the dragon's damage values is in uninitialized on cast. So if this is your the first magic cast you do on the stage, the dragon will do no damage. But the game doesn't clean up these damage values, so if you cast the dragon, and then you cast it again, you can see uh, that the entire dragon now, even though it doesn't, haven't even appeared, every piece is now doing 2 damage. So if we, if we go to the boss, we can now uh, show what's going on here. We'll do this. So, uh, only like the head and the created pieces now deal damage. And so we're doing, dealing 2 damage here to the boss, you can see. Now I think there's some priority issue going on here. Like even though uh, these created pieces are overlapping with his head, uh, it's like the uninitialized pieces are also overlapping with his head. So it's the game is going you know, from, from top to bottom saying, oh, he got hit by the dagger magic. Even though it's 0 damage, he got hit by this one. So it discards all of the other ones. So right now we're actually not dealing a sim single piece of damage to him until every piece gets in initialized again, or the head goes back into his hitbox, and we'll deal damage again. Okay, so we'll shoot the magic, and this will initialize, put the damage values in all of these slots. And now our next dragon is going to use that old dragon's damage values, as we can see here. So even though these pieces aren't created, they're still dealing 2 damage. We can see here, we're dealing 2 damage now every frame here, until the game starts lagging. Then it turns into every other frame, basically. Um, so that explains that piece. Um, so let's use another spell then. Let's use the tornado magic. And we'll get into why the tornado magic in a bit here, but let's use the tornado magic. Which creates 2 tornadoes, each one dealing 6 damage. Okay, simple enough. So now when we use the dagger magic now, it will use the old tornado values. Let's see here. Just go back and do that. So the tail pieces now still have the tornado damage uh, from like from the tornado cast we used. So we're actually dealing six damage now per frame from the tornado. Uh, so you can see the boss just get decimated right there. And then, uh, as the dragon forms, it will initialize the value to 2, so it gets overwritten. But by now we have dealt so much damage already, so we kill him really fast. And <laughs> so at this point you might be saying, you know, but, but Fred, why would you A, uh, you know, keep the scythe into stage 3, and B, why would you use the tornado magic? Well, I can just quickly go into that as well. So let's say you enter stage 3. Uh, from stage 2 with uh, 
gold armor and the scythe. Just so happens that you might want to... Um, let's see, we'll have to do it again because I lost the shield. It just so happens that you might want to keep the... Um, the scythe into stage uh, 3 here. Because using the tornado magic will give you a guaranteed dagger. It just works every time like that. Um, so now we use the tornado magic and we, will we release the dragon. You can see we have the 6 damage values from the tornado. And this is what makes the quick kill work. Um, now, uh, this isn't... As we currently un understand it, this isn't really useful in the speedrun, uh, since you have to keep the scythe to stage three. Uh, it's just currently it's just like a nice side effect if you're doing, for example, a race run or a marathon run, where you might you might opt into keeping the scythe from stage two, since you can get a guaranteed dagger drop, uh, and then you just kill the boss a bit faster. So currently, it's not helpful for the speedrun. So Malcolm did say he's gotten this uh, work to work without using the tornado magic. Um, and it is actually possible, maybe. Because if I walk into the lava, for example, you can see all of the armor pieces that dropped from me are put into the magic slots. So these slots aren't uh, only used by magic casts. Now the armor pieces, they don't put any damage values in there, but they're, it's just proving that there might be something that get put in there that has a damage, another damage value. But currently, as we understand it, it's just a tornado magic and it's not useful for the speedrun, but this is the brief overview of that and a quick explanation of why you would use the tornado magic to begin with. So yeah, just uh, do the quick kill once more and then we'll be out of here, guys. Bang. Okay, didn't get it. Oh, we got it. Okay, perfect. Well, that's what make it, uh, makes that work. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, peace out.